CBS 17, your local election headquarters, and at this hour, we are following two major statewide races. One looks like it is likely headed to a recount, the other will not. CBS 17's Russ Bowen joining us right now. And Russ, so where are we still waiting for ballots to be counted? Um, I'm going to show you that. If you can hear that noise, it's my heart racing because things change so quickly, like within just the past few minutes. All right, so let's start off where we don't believe there will be a recount yet, and that's the big race for Attorney General Josh Stein, the incumbent. Democrat against Jim O'Neill, the Republican. So those new numbers just in about a half an hour ago in this particular race, there's a total of 13,653 votes. If you can read my scr uh, chicken scratch right there, that's what's separating those two. So that allows Josh Stein to move above that 10,000 vote threshold at this point, probably avoiding a recount. But let's get to the other big race that we're focusing on. That is going to be the race for the Supreme Court justice seat here in North Carolina. Incumbent Sherry Beasley, who was appointed by Governor Cooper, and then Paul Newby, the Republican. At this point, you will not believe how close this is. At some point, it was even just a few dozen votes that separated the two. But now we're looking at a total of 367 votes. That's it separating these two candidates. All right, let me show you why that matters and what the next process is. So let's get back over to this map here, and this is what we're gonna be watching very closely. First, I wanna point out this one county. This is the last county that is not reported yet. I just got off the phone with them, and this here is Stanley County right up here. They are still counting provisional ballots, going through those ballots, but they're only about 75. So that's not going to be enough for Cherry Beasley to get outside of that uh, 367 vote margin right there, okay? So why is Wake County suddenly, within just the past few minutes, light purple again. The light purple means that these are unofficial results as opposed to the final ca canvas, which is dark purple. I just got off the phone with Wake County. They tell me that they have moved to light purple because they are officially moving into a recount for the Sherry Beasley race for Chief Justice of the North Carolina Supreme Court. That vote, they tell me, will start on, or that count rather, will start on Thursday. So they're officially moving into recount territory on Thursday in that one race. So we're likely going to see all of these counties that are dark purple right now turning to light purple. Not clear yet how long that's going to take for the entire state, but of course we do have a deadline for certification. But you might remember that when it came to the governor's race four years ago and the race for uh, North Carolina Auditor, we didn't have the final tally on those recounts until December. So guys, we may be talking about this until well after Thanksgiving. Back to you.